Hello guys, welcome to the channel. So from past 3-4 weeks, I have been playing as Necromancer and I must say, right now Necromancer is the best class for PvE content. Be it uh, any, uh, any mode, be it farming, dungeons, raids or anything, uh, I think Necromancer is now at the top. It was already good, but now with this new essence of the skeletal mage which summons a dark magus that unleashes a soul fire now this essence is really good and it has made the uh, necromancer experience out of this world but there are two other mages for necromancer which is the grim reaper and the laser one and so in this video we are going to test which one is the best uh, using the test dummy and also we uh, I, I was able to unlock other essences the new essences that, that have come out so we can check those out as those also has increased the damage of necromancer in pve by a lot first let's check out the damage of the new soulfire mage so the good thing about this mage is that none of the uh, and none of the attack is missed and everything is auto aimed to the target so you get the full damage every time and uh, you can see that uh, this uh, mage did 220k damage in total uh, keep in mind that i am not using any gems for this test and also do not have any set items that's why the number may seem low but this is the number at base without any alterations so it's 220k for the new necrom uh, new mage so now let's check out the the laser mage the one which shoots uh, continuous rays at the enemy so this one does the continuous hit on target the thing the problem with this is that if the target is moving the rays the it take time for the mage to uh, re-aim to relocate the the ray that's why it has some drawbacks but on base level if you see the damage it is 135k only however the new mage which i did uh, test here it was 220k damage so a huge difference and this is at zero uh, um, this is at zero resonance and if I add gems as I go a higher resonance the difference is going to increase so in no scenarios I think this mage should be used at all unless you are in like hell level where you cannot unlock the inferno 2 mage that is a different scenario finally let's check out the grim reaper which was considered to be the best mage before the new uh, soulfire mage so here is the testing uh, this grim reaper need, needs to be ne really close to the target because it is like a melee, melee attack while the other two are the range attacks so it has to be really close and each hit hits really hard so you can see it has more damage 233k while the normal soulfire which i had which was 220k so the damage is slightly more but if you see that the cooldown this one has 24 second cooldown so basically 8 second there will be no mage if you are obviously if you are not if you are using the shoulder you can make two uh, you can increase the charge of skeletal mage by one that is apply applicable for all the mages but at base level uh, for 8 seconds uh, you are not getting any damage from this skill however in the case of soul fire mage there is always uh, even if the cooldown is so less so always there will be a mage and in fact the cooldown is so less that you can spawn two mages even without using the sh uh, sh shoulder piece to increase the charge of a mage so uh, there is no downtime and in fact for some period of time uh, there are two mages so the uh, so the damage is much more in that particular uh, frame of time so to conclude i think the new soul fire mage is the best one that's available for open world farming definitely this one is best because it has more aoe damage and it is ranged also for single target damage where the duration of the fight is longer this one is much more better however there is a case where still the grim reaper is still better than the dark magus uh, in Grim Reaper is better if the, sh the duration of the fight is sh uh, shorter. For example, if you are in support battle 2, support battle, and uh, the duration of the sh uh, Shadow War is not going to be long, uh, maybe uh, for example in Thursday. So in Thursday was usually you like I am in top uh, one of the very uh, stronger clans. So we are matched with a clan where there is attendance is mostly very low. So in those cases the fights end very very fast. So in th in that cases Grim Reaper is still better than Dark Magus. But in any other case where the fight is going to last a longer time, for example 24 seconds even, I think that the Dark Magus is much more better. 
like I was saying before, uh, Necromancer is now the best class for uh, PvE, be it dungeons, be it open world farming, be it raids, anything. Uh, bec uh, it has now even more better because of this the new uh, legendary gear. Even the main hand, when command skeleton die, they grant nearby enemies 32% increased attack speed. This is at essence mastery level 3. At 4, I think this will be 40% or maybe 38 percent but the attack speed increase is uh, is for all the party members not just for your summons so uh, you can use this essence along with the headgear coals of the eye which actually causes your skeletal uh, mages uh, skeletal champions to detonate at the target and which is going to trigger this main hand and thus giving the entire party a huge buff of attack speed Plus the new chest piece gives a huge boost. The bone wall now conjures the altar of the dead increasing your damage while you remain within the area. So the damage increase is given in the tooltip it says by 40%. So 40% is a lot. So uh, suppose I am going to summon a mage and then I use the altar right here. So you can see the area is fixed it is not moving just like banner however the increase in damage applies to you now to test the 40% increase in damage let's just uh, summon a mage so this mage is summoned and you can see that uh, total damage of the mage is the mage lasts for 13 seconds but the altar is only for 6 seconds so it will not be exactly 40% so you can see the total damage is 262k now if I use the altar as well the altar lasts for 6 seconds so you will not see exactly the total uh, effect however uh, there will be some increase 278 so obviously there was more crits in the uh, previous one but still there is a slight increase in damage finally the new pant essence the symmetry gates uh, bone wall bone wall protects nearby summons reducing the damage they take from monsters and by players 70 percent so it is 70 percent is a lot so the summons can uh, last longer but however uh, if summons are still viable in pvp or not that has to be tested especially the new dark magus because the dark magus is the attack of dark magus is auto aim so every uh, if it is not if it is summoned near a player i think it is going to do a lot of damage However, this needs still needs more testing if it is viable uh, at all in PvP. That's all for this video. I just wanted to cover the all the essences of the Necromancer that has been released in the previous update. I was not able to get the PvP sp uh, specific uh, essence which was the Flame of Forever. Borrowed time increases the critical hit chance by 10% at Essence Mastery 4. So I think this is going to be really good since borrowed time has become uh, we can see a lot of necromancer using borrowed time in pvp so i think this is going to be a very good essence that's all for this video uh, if you like the content consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one bye